I might have been the first, but that means nothing if there's not a second, a third, a fourth. When we step out of our comfort zone and we do something for the first time, big or small, you never know what that initial first is going to lead you to and what doors could open from that. I was born and raised in Kakuma in a UNICEF camp, so for me it really does hit close to home and the fact that I'm able to be here today, uh, it really does speak so much to the work that they're doing. women is to never change yourself, change the game. You don't have to conform. The industry, it's just such a perfect time to be yourself and we are celebrating everything that it means to be you and like the individual and for me like it's amazing because for the first time Muslim women are being represented and celebrated. Hopefully modest fashion will one day become part of mainstream fashion because modesty is really something that's open for interpretation and it is a global uh, way of life and there's so many women besides Muslim women who want to dress modest. A year and a half ago, I could never pick up a magazine and flip through the pages and see somebody wearing a hijab or somebody that looks like me. And you know, today I'm really happy to say I've covered nine different magazines from Vogue to Allure to Glamour. To, so it's nice because little girls are picking that up. They're seeing somebody who looks like them. UNICEF ambassador and you know UNICEF is so personal to me I was born and raised in a UNHCR camp in Kakuma so to be here it just means the world to me and I believe in the work that they're doing on the ground I might have been the first in high fashion, but I'm definitely not going to be the last. And that's something I'm very proud of because already I see so many girls getting signed, so many girls like entering fashion and they're not afraid to wear their hijab, they're not afraid to ask for privacy, they're not afraid to, you know, um, be different, you know, and stand out a little bit. <laughs>